how to add a totally custom scroll bar in Flutter on your phone or also inside of your Flutter web application. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. To create a custom scroll bar, we make a use of this draggable scroll bar package. Simply go to a scrollable widget such as a list view or grid view and here around you want to wrap then your custom scroll bar widget. And this is a custom widget which we want to create later and here we also want to get then a controller which we want to pass then to our scrollable widget. And now let's create this custom scroll bar widget together. First of all you need to create here a constructor and inside of this constructor you need to pass here then this builder. And inside of this builder we want to put then our scroll controller inside which is then later also going here inside of our scrollable widget. And secondly we go back to our custom scroll bar widget and here within the build method we want to create then a draggable scroll bar and this comes directly from this package. And here inside we want to create then this scroll controller that we later pass outside of our widget therefore we add here our controller and we simply create then our scroll controller in our state. Also make sure that you initialize then this scroll controller inside of the init method and you also need to dispose it within the dispose method. And lastly we go to our draggable scroll bar widget and here we create then our builder and inside of our builder we pass then this controller inside. And finally we can define how our scroll bar should look like therefore we create here a scroll sump builder and we want to create a new method and here we get then all the fields from the scroll sum builder. And now here inside you can basically create your custom scroll bar widget. So here I simply create a container with some width and also I put here a height inside which we get over the sum builder. And this height is basically the height that you pass here at the top inside so it is basically 200 pixels. Next within this container you can set the background color of your scroll bar and this background color you need to define then here at the top so I choose here a pinkish background color. Make sure to click on hot restart and after it you should then see here the scroll bar which is our custom scroll bar container that we have basically created inside of the scroll sump builder. To make this work also go to your pubspec drummer file and here under your dependencies you need to include then this draggable scroll bar package. And here you can then basically customize this widget how you want to have your scroll bar displayed. So I take here for example a linear gradient with some colors and now you see I have here my custom scroll bar with this linear gradient colors. Right now our custom scroll bar is here always visible and is never hiding. In case you want to change it simply wrap around your container here this fade transition and you put here then the thumb animation inside which you get from your builder. And with this by default the scroll bar is not visible only if I start here to scroll then it is visible and when I stop then it is fading away. Within your draggable scroll bar you can also define then the duration how long it should take to fade out our scroll bar. So now if I scroll here and stop then it takes one second until it fades away. If you run your app as a Flutter web application within your browser then you also have here the scroll bar. However under it you have then here also another scroll bar which is the default scroll bar which is attached to a list view. So this is a scroll bar that was created automatically by Flutter and we have now built here on top our custom scroll bar and therefore we want to hide here the second scroll bar under it from Flutter. To deactivate the default scroll bar is pretty simple. Simply go to your draggable scroll bar widget and here around you wrap then a scroll configuration and inside of it you can then basically deactivate the default scroll bar. And with this if I scroll now here inside of my browser then you see we have only the custom scroll bar and the other scroll bar is simply not visible anymore. If you like you can also add some padding to the right side. So we add here 4 pixels to the right side. And with this we have more space to the right side of our scroll bar and if I put here a higher value inside then you see it also more clearly so we have here more space. If you like this video make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.